Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today, working on the Barracuda for a little while. We've got some rusty floors going on, as you can see. We've cut a chunk out. Um, just to give you an idea, you can kind of see what we're up against. We had a, there's a bunch of little holes in there. So, that had to go. And... Here's our new section, replacement panel. We've got that all trucked off it. So that's going in there nice. It's a nice reproduction. It's ready to go in. Uh, what I did notice was there's really nothing in the way of a torque box uh, in these early uh, A bodies. They have this here, which is more of a torque bracket than a box. Uh, it's just one, it's fairly heavy gauge, but it's just one piece of metal. Um, so the factory uh, big block cars, the more powerful models, this was just a 273, had a torque box from the factory, which you can get as a reproduction item and add them, uh, especially if you're going to put a big block in like we're doing. Now, they're about 280 bucks for a pair, so it's like, hmm, and about a week away. So we thought, you know, we've got the floor out, we've got easy access, we've got to make our own. So, we've got some 3 by one heavy wall box tubing. That's going to go in here. We're going to put it in the front here. That's not the right one. <laughs> okay. That's going to sit in there. We're going to have a second one here. It's just going to fit in here. And we're going to have to, we're going to have to notch this one down a bit to clear the floor. But we'll, uh, we'll get these tacked in place and then we're going to, at the, on the bottom of this, we'll put some heavy gauge sheet metal. We'll run some beads in it. Uh, and that will create our torque box once the floor goes back on top it'll all get welded onto these and it's going to add a huge amount of strength so you know for about 30 bucks worth of metal um, you can make your own torque boxes which yeah it, it saves us time saves us money we can put some of that money into our engine so yeah we're going to get it tacked in uh, a few little bits of trimming to do so keep watching Got our pieces made now, trimmed to fit. Yeah, that's gonna go in there. Trimmed a little bit more of this bracket away, just mainly so we could get to the front side of this uh, to weld it to the chassis rails. Otherwise, with that shoot, with that bracket there, you couldn't get to them. So that's ready to go in there. Now this one, we've had to contour quite a bit, as you can see, to allow for the floor to sit down flat. Uh, without that there, the floor was riding up on top of it. So that one's going there. So I'm just uh, going to start burning this in. for now so you don't guys don't spend a huge amount of time watching me well That's basically how they're going to go. I'll finish burning them in. Then we're going to make a plate to go on the bottom side of these. That'll connect right around the perimeter of that square. And that's just going to tie everything together, just make it super strong. So, back in a few seconds.
So we got all the braces burned in. I've made a template. This is the shape for the bottom of that. So it closes it in and makes it the, into a torque box. Uh, it's gonna have a couple little brakes in it. So I've made it out of metal. I haven't put the brakes in yet because we're gonna roll some beads in. So I just wanted to um, let you guys take a look at that. Uh, these bead rollers are great. They're not expensive. Uh, if you're doing any kind of amount of sheet metal, sheet metal fabrication, these are a valuable little tool. So put it in there, line it up this way with your line across here, line it up this way with your line this way, coming towards you, and basically crank that down. And how tight you do that is going to be, is going to control how deep your groove is. Now this is fairly heavy gauge, so it's gonna it's gonna fight a little bit. I'll probably do this in like two stages. We'll roll it one way, and then we'll roll it back the other. And just take it through until the line. You that's your finish line here that I've already marked out. That's got to be vertical through here. Yeah. What we'll do let's tighten that up a little more. About all she's going to give us. Roll it back. The trick is going down the same groove. <laughs> but a little bit of practice, you'll get it. There we go, that's one. It gives you a nice, just a bead roll like that, adds a huge amount of strength to it. And, uh, just do it again three more times. There's different shape rollers you can get. You can get it so it just does a step. You can do an angled step. There's a lot of different shaped dies. And you know, the, the kit comes with a certain amount and you can add to it. There's a bunch of different people make these. This one from memory is a Woodward Fab one. Uh, Eastwood do them. A couple of different companies do them. They're all pretty similar to be honest. Uh, yeah, see See who's got see who's got a special on it. Buy that one. Now, if you're doing bigger pieces, it's really helpful to have someone actually cranking on the handle, rolling it for you, and you can steer it. Small piece like this is really not too bad. Uh, my helper today is behind the camera, so he's kind of out. There you go, three nice little beads. It's curved the panel, but that's easy enough to straighten out. You, just, you, know, you can just get after that, straighten it out. 
Okay, so we're gonna head off, put these little brakes in it, these little folds here. That's going up, up inside the inner rocker. That's going under the chassis rail. It's kind of gonna sit like that. So, back in a sec. All right, <coughs> got our plate finished up. Got a couple little brakes in it. Punched a bunch of holes so we can get some plug welds going in there. This is gonna fit up in here. On the underside of these boxes, these braces. That's all gonna weld in right around the perimeter. Ah, have a look at the new, can you see that, Barry? <laughs> I do. Okay. I do You've see that. Been up to no good again. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna get that welded in. That'll just tie it together, just that little bit more. Then punch some holes in here. Drop that in, weld her up. That just sits down over the, the brace there, so that'll tie there in. And we're gonna have a super strong A-body mobile. So if you're enjoying it, like and subscribe, share, hit the notifications button, uh, and keep on watching. We'll see you on part three.